welcome back. Today we're going to be doing Five Nights of Freddy's. There's Freddy, Sister, and Bonnie to make my own individual character. We're using a Cleo third generation. I love the curves. We're going to do blushing to warm the face to make all of the creases more defined. What's your favorite Five Nights at Freddy's character? Here I'm just cleaning away some of the excess to make a crisp line and a guideline also for the white that will be there. This character is going to have almost like a come hither type look. I want it to be really smoky and dark. I kind of picture her as if she was the either like fan club for Five Nights at Freddy. She knows what's going on and she's all for it and she wants to be one of them, but she doesn't commit all the way. Or just the security guard that they deserved from the beginning, helping them do this their misdeeds. I originally blushed the body, but the only thing you'll see out of that is the hands. I put three layers of Mr. Super Clear and deepened the shadows that I already made. And now we're going to do her eyebrows. All of this blushing is done with pan pastels. You can do them with crushed up pastels. It's just allows me to skip a step. Now that we got her eyebrows good and we're making highlights, making sure everything is nice and pronounced. I used white I used white watercolor pencils, but at the end I just decided I didn't want to do so many layers in order to saturate it, so I wet it and also put gouache on top of it in order to get the solid white. I stared at a lot of makeup videos in order to figure out how I wanted her eyes shadow to be and her lipstick and all that stuff and I decided to go with a gradient. Her eyes were very random, I just kept going until I was happy. So I'm putting down the base. And then from for the eyes, I like to continuously draw as if it's paper. So I don't do a base color and then start putting in line details. I like to start right from the beginning all the way to the end doing line details. To me, it just helps me keep track of what I'm doing. Surprisingly, I did I restrained from using black immediately. I don't know, something about not having something about having the eye almost monochrome color just to me sets off a certain mood. So I refrained from using black this time. made a little oopsie so we went ahead and added the white back into that corner because I really was just trying to add the overcast that usually would happen on the eye but I didn't need it that thick I shaved down her ears because they gave kind of elf to me just they were a little pointy 
but then it left these little white things and I found out that if you apply heat almost like iron down the material it goes back to its original gloss so I did that for both ears I tried it for the hands and it worked on there too but you can still see it it's such a heavy indent from the machinery that it's really hard to get rid of I will admit that this one I did kind of backwards usually I would do the reroute and then seal it and then do the rest of the head with the wefts to seal the cavern that I made but I did it backwards but it should still be fine because I sealed it down with the hot glue gun this is always how I do the hair for the most part I don't like taking off the head because the pegs have snapped on me and it just makes me paranoid I'm doing chunky highlights Everything on her eyes are finally dry, so I'm going into making her eyelashes and then sealing her one final time. I don't like to to wait. I, I'm impatient, so I really rather actually work on something while I'm going. If you like my art, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel reach the people that haven't found me yet. I sculpted this bag and mask and printed it out. It's my own original design, which I'm really proud of. And now we get to paint it. I will say my com my camera for some reason keeps on saying that it can't continuously con record for long periods. So I got some of the paint uh, that I did recorded, but it kept stopping after a certain point. So I gave up after like the fourth time and just showed you the end results. I'm not sure why I did that. One time it was because of the battery, but I got a plug-in battery, and now it's still it's still doing it. It's like I took a break from being annoying, and now I'm back. So I'll figure that out, uh, or I'll just forever deal with it, or buy a new camera. I don't know. New battery again? Who knows? Here I'm doing all the black first. I know you're just like, why would you do the black first? Well, because I don't want to mess up the color. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And here it is. It's all painted, but it still needs a good couple, few layers of Mr. Super Clear. This is how I set it up for me to spray it, which made me really sit there and think, should I just make some of these as art, wall art? I think it'd be cute. Just a little shadow box of like random things. I might do that. I waited for the glue to dry for these straps before I did the bottom half, so I'm going to set them aside. Here's some of the patterns that I roughly did to make this corset bustier underbust thing, tutu. <laughs> um, I did switch how I do my stockings. I used to just do this, but now I started doing a top stitch over it and it comes out cleaner. These are her pants. And ooh, the shirt, the shirt is so cute. The buttons are actually little glass beads I dyed the pants because they were too light I'd really wanted more of a dark gray almost black and we added some enclosures to her tops individually because I didn't I wanted them to be separate if you wanted them to be separate now as for her bow I love painting acrylic onto fabric I don't know why, but it's just very satisfying. And that's what it looks like all painted with all the stripes. I didn't make you watch all of it. 
I went ahead and attached the bottom part. I sculpted these boots and printed them and I always have them in stock just sitting around so I grabbed a pair for her and glossed the top to make it a little shiny so like pleather. I'm making a doll stand and it's the first time I'm using oven baked clay uh, for this particular thing. I don't really use it that often. I usually use air dry. So this was really interesting. I'm glad that I was. it was supposed to be like a dingy checkered floor because uh, it wasn't the cleanest. Now I'm going to paint the base black. I would have done it beforehand, but I was worried about the clay not adhering to the paint and coming off at times, so I did it raw. I painted. You know what I mean. I had my husband help me cut this uh, steel pole. It gave stripper vibes for a second. I also sculpted Mr. Cupcake. And I also practiced some of my painting, which is getting better. Might animate something one day. Once again, camera didn't like a uh, long time recording. So here's Mr. Cupcake without his eyes and his without his stripes. He's going to get more details. I figured out that my camera was on autofocus and that's why it wouldn't focus on the yellow it was focusing on my hand which was close to the camera I don't know when it got in back into that setting because that's like day one mistake that I did for like my first video so I don't know how it did it again but I figured it out late <laughs> so this is as close it's gonna get doesn't this remind you this is what it reminds me of course bride's uh worm little friend oh that's what it was given for a second I just pictured him singing, giving his girl a pep talk. For some reason, I had the typical artist problem where I couldn't get both eyes to match. Don't don't ask me why. I don't know. But I kept on trying and kept on trying. And right around here is where I was like, I'm not going to keep recording me trying. So here you go. <laughs> After four tries. I got both eyes to look the same. <laughs> I'm dusting the corners with some more pastels just to give a shadow instead of it just being solid black. Oh, I thought I was done. No earrings! Yay! Okay, so I thought I would give my hand at soldering some earrings together. Did it work? Mm. No. No, it didn't. I don't know why I thought I was just going to be instantly good at it. Uh, I used too much solder and covered up the design in the front. So, yeah. And my heat gun died. So, you know, why not? Why not? This doll has been interesting. And she is done. Because we just did some pearls. <laughs> like we did before. But she came out great. I really do love her. And if you want to keep up with my little shenanigans of random things that I figured hmm, how hard could it be make sure you subscribe and click the bell for the notifications if you're interested in buying her she will be up for sale on my square website and also on Etsy thank you so much for coming by I am so happy that you guys are following me and subscribing and watching my journey while I try to become an official YouTube star. I really appreciate all you guys' comments, all you guys' likes, subscribing, sharing. You guys are amazing. And I'll see you next month. Flash warning.